right, just prepping things for the, uh, getting these brackets, these are going to be for braces for the winch when it goes on. Now, today's video is only a short one, I haven't got onto the boat a lot this week, uh, just basically got nerves in my back trapping in there and it's extremely painful, in fact I'm barely walking at the moment, so, uh, taking it kind of easy, doing a little bit, but not too much that I'm, uh, making more damage you might say. So what I did was this week I tried to prioritise because we've got about four days of storms coming so I tried to prioritise jobs where things get wet like fibreglassing, paint, that sort of thing. So I'll be working on this video on the rear cuddy or rear locker. So let's take a look at that. Right I'm just taking a look at um, this bit down here. Now I'll try and explain it. Try and keep you out of the wind because it's quite windy today. So as you see here, this here is the back of the boat, the stern, and you see there's a cuddy part here. Now this cuddy goes a long way under, so there's a lot of space, it's kind of wasted space really. So what I'm going to do is, right, so the plan is, there's a bar here, I'm going to leave this bar here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up along here with this and I'm going to fibreglass, one layer of fibreglass and a layer of gel coat just on top of that fibreglass. I'm going to go all the way over so it's kind of doubled either side if you think about it. And I'm only going to do the bar because the idea is I want the cuddy to go in there you better put fuel tanks in and then I put the cuddy and screw the cuddy and that'll stay in there through the whole season and then every year I can always take the cuddy off and or well, the cupboard and remove the tanks now you think well you could seal it I could seal it all in but I can't get the tanks in not without making a bit too thin for the tanks to fit through like the hole and the problem is is water is always tries to get in these sort of places especially at the stern the front is not so bad because the water always runs back but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stop when you do pots you get a lot of cell, uh, seashells winkles that sort of thing seaweed and it all wants to wash back and I don't want all that crap going around the fuel tanks and sitting under there and being real nasty so if I fiberglass this up hopefully it'll stop bits going in there it's also a case of when you think of a swing mooring when a boat's on a mooring like this the front of the boat will always face the wind. When it rains, it'll push the wind always against here. So water always finds its way in these sort of things, unless they're made like professionally with seals and all sorts. But even then, you can get condensation build up in these sort of things. So the idea is not to make it completely watertight. It's just to try and stop dirt from washing back and finding its way under there and trapping around the tanks when this cuddy's on, because it'll, like I say, be very hard to clean under there. Um, the water can go in and out. The sides won't be sealed where the cuddy is. They'll go up against it, but they won't be completely sealed. And that, that all these holes here will give it like a vent to, to dry out as well. So that's the plan. Plus, um, yeah, like I say, you probably get some water trapping in around the tanks, but it won't matter as long as it's not got all the dirt in it. But anyway, I'm only doing one layer of fiberglass on here. Because it's only a, a, a like a test or a temporary thing, I might change it yet again next year. But for now, I want to try it. I just want to see if that'll stop the dirt. It's the dirt that's the problem. Because like I say, if you get bits of fish and all sorts going there, it'll just be nasty, you know. And like I say, trying to seal it is a, well. Like I say the water tends to find its way in, and then getting it out again is always the issue. So we'll see. Like at the front, you know, you've got the cuddy at the front over there. But at the bottom it's sealed and that as well, but it does have a bung which drains the water out. But you can drain that by going moving forward, obviously, and the water will always come out the bung. Right, I better get on with it. Now you might be able to see, I'm not going to bring the mat out too far. Like I said, I'm literally going to come down 
to just this bit here, just sort of an inch. And then we're going to have a mat which will go over the top, right up tight against this. I might even mat the inside there, I don't know yet. Going to it all fits. We'll work that out as we get there. Otherwise, water might trap on the this mat here, and not there. Like I say, this is only to see. I'm just going to try this because I want to find a better way than putting a cuddy there or a cupboard just because of that um, the water thing. Because like I say, when the water rushes back, even where the cupboard is, it still manages to seep its way in. And over time, you get it back there. But this is more to stop the dirt than anything. Um, we'll have, I'm going to have two, two fuel tanks in here. That way. If we get any problems, we'll have two separate systems so we can switch over to the other one instead of having one big tank, plus the one big tank. I'd rather have two spaced out. Um, this piece is going to go, we've got a five of that piece in, just like I say, one layer only, because, just in case I can take it out and change it again, which I don't know, we'll see how we get on, and this piece is going on top, now I just need to raise this up a bit, because obviously that's a little low, I don't want to start taking all this out and cutting all out and putting a brand new piece in, and all the rest of it, and having to cut wooden up for that, this is fine, but this one will go on top, that'll make the space, but what I'll do is, where it overlaps here, I'm just going to overlap it, just a tiny little bit, just a little lip there, and you think why, well when the water comes in, it hits there, it's like the seawall defences we have here, it will go up, and instead of just sloshing up onto the cuddy area, it'll hook there and it throws it back. It's not meant to do more than that. It's just when you get a little bit of water. There's a lot of water. It's not going to make much difference. But hopefully we won't have that much because we'll pump it out. But just when you get that little bit of water that might slosh back from the pots. It'll just hook it and throw it back instead of going, str going straight up and where the cuddy seal is. So there we go, now that's done, just need to paint it, put the cuddy back and put the rubber matting over it. So there we go, a quick coat of paint, it's not exactly the right colour but it doesn't matter because you're not going to see most of that, you'll only see the edge strip and um, yeah, it'll, it'll dry off a little bit lighter than what it's showing at the moment.
So I've just mixed up some paint for this one because this is going to be showing a bit more. So I managed to find some. I didn't think I had any white, but I did manage to find some white. So patch that up. Like I say, the back doesn't matter because you're not really going to see it. So. But you might see these edges. Haha! <laughs> See, and you thought I was going to leave it that colour, didn't you? I bet you some people were losing their minds. <laughs> anyway, I've, I've colour matched it in, uh, even though you're not going to really see it. And the same with the patches on the floor. I've just, because you're going to see the top area, you're not going to see the bottom area, but you'll see that top edge where there's been any of the um, gel coat for the stuff we used. So there you go. Um, just got to put the front on floor out and then you'll just see that very edge part probably just about we'll see how it turns out when it's finished so there you go that was just fitting that back part now whether that'll be a permanent thing in the future I don't know we're going to try it out obviously I want it to stop the muck getting in the back I don't mind the water going in the back because trying to stop the water is just a pain in the ass anyway and like I see you see here this is the uh, cuddy kind of locker half this disappears under the plastic and that goes onto the bottom part but getting a tank through here uh, well that's the 20 litre tank you can see it's <laughs> like that and even the the 12 litres this is one of the 12 litres again it's too too wide now I could go out and get tanks that are very flat probably but I already own about five or six fuel tanks and like that one not that one, one up there, it's brand new, so I'm not going to bother going and buying more. They're not the cheapest things to get either. Um, yeah, so hopefully it'll work out fine. We'll try it out, try and error a little bit there, and um, yeah, hopefully the plan works. So anyway, the next video might be, hopefully, I might start work on the winch, but we'll see how the weather goes, because obviously we've got a lot of rain coming, or a lot of stormy weather, and so I'm not going to be working on that. And Plus it gives me a chance to just chill out for a bit with this back and try and get it to weld itself back together or whatever the hell it's doing, I don't know. So, until the next one. <laughs>